Hey there! Today I'm going to be replacing my stock faucet with an aftermarket faucet. It's actually one built for a home, but it's going to be nicer because the problem I have with this particular faucet is this handle juts out right into the receptacle area right here. And if I put a, uh, an adapter in there that lets me plug a couple more things, that handle is really in the way. So I'm going to uh, put in a, a faucet that's just a single handle and uh, hopefully this will work out better for me. This mess underneath here is all the hoses that go up to that sink. And it's a bit of a jumble because uh, right here, what you're looking at is where the water goes to the outside shower. So the water comes in and it tees off to these guys right here. And then those go up to the sink. And uh, the that one that's got a little pink on it, that's the one going down to the water, to the water pump. Anywho, it's just a pile of uh, hoses in here. Well, I'm going to have to say I didn't see this one coming. The uh, center hole was not cut out. The uh, two water inlets, you know, you can see right here, came up to here. And if I want to use this hole, I'll have to I'll have to drill that out. But what I'm thinking is I might just use this left hole and have the sink or the faucet angle in like this and then leave this area, area over here more open. I might have that give that a look. That might be appealing. All right, so this is what happens when you don't read directions before you start a project. Uh, obviously, this is not going to fit into that hole. So, uh, time to go hunt down my hole saws. Okay, I was boring out the hole with this reamer right here. Uh, because uh, trying to use a circular, or not a circular saw, but a hole saw wasn't going to work. But I got really close. <laughs> I just a little bit more and I can get her in there. Now this has turned into some drama. It's so tight in there I can't, I couldn't get the hose right here, uh, which is packs and it's super stiff to line up with uh, the pipe or the tube that's coming down out of the faucet so I could connect them together. I mean, it just wouldn't go, wouldn't go. And then uh, eventually I pulled out, I pulled it down and discovered that the, this little ring that was in the top. Let me see if I can do this without spilling shit. Uh, right there had come loose and that was jamming up the whole work so another trip to the store to get a new fitting well I suspected this was going to be a problem when I cut it I used my Leatherman to cut it which was a huge mistake this PIX tubing has to be perfectly uh, level across the top there can't be any ridges or bumps or a leak which is exactly what happened to me so I'm going to go ahead and make a nice cut with this tubing cutter <laughs> It just got a little shaking here. There's a windstorm going outside and it's just shaking the crap out of my trailer. Okay, I got my new fitting is in and I have the water turned on and the camera isn't getting sprayed. These are all positive things. Alright, here we go. Made and try. Success. Now I did pick up uh, a couple of these uh, metal hole deals to uh, trim up these holes so it didn't look bad. Now they're about 90 cents a piece at the hardware store so that's a pretty easy fix. Anyhow, there's the faucet. 